Hello and welcome to Home Cooking with me Hema Subramanian. Rotis are something that are perfect for a lovely lunch meal and today I'm going to share two wonderful roti recipes which are very quick and easy to make. One is made with rice flour that is the ubbu roti and the other one fulkas that is made with wheat flour. So let's get started and check out these recipes. For the akki ubi roti, first I'm going to cook the rice flour to a kadai or a pot. Take one cup of water, add half teaspoon of salt. Just mix it so the salt dissolves. Once the water begins to boil, add a teaspoon of oil. To this, add one cup of rice flour. Turn off the stove. Just mix everything together and make sure it's nicely well combined. Just add little water at a time while mixing the flour to get a nice kneading consistency for the dough. So now I'm going to transfer to the bowl and just start kneading the rice flour. Remove the rice flour mixture from the kadai. So just knead the dough till it's all well combined. get a nice smooth dough ball so you can see I've kneaded the rice flour to a nice dough ball divide the dough ball into equal size balls to the rolling surface dust a little rice flour place the dough ball now I'm going to roll out the akhi rotis. Gently roll out the dough ball. Dust the rice flour accordingly so it doesn't stick. Using a cutter I'm just going to shape it. So if you have a lid or, or from a box you can or a container you can use that. Gently flatten the roti so that it's nice and thin. So gently roll it a little thinner. Make all the akki rotis, keep them aside. Heat a tawa, once the tawa is hot, place the rolled out akki roti. Cook on both sides. Remove it. Place it directly on the flame. After a few seconds, flip to the other side. You can see it puffs up so beautifully. Remove the roti from the flame once it's puffed up and keep it aside. Here are these delicious hot akki ubi rotis. Perfect to be had with any side dish of your choice. Take 2 cups of wheat flour, add 1 teaspoon of salt, mix the flour after adding the salt, then add warm water. Adding warm water makes the pulka softer. You can see it's become a nice palatable dough. Cover it with a moist muslin cloth and let it sit for about 30 minutes before making the pulkas. The dough has been resting for about 30 minutes. The dough is nice and moist. Knead it for about 2 minutes. Divide the dough into small balls and start rolling out the pulkas. Now I'm going to roll out the pulkas. First, dust the rolling surface. Place the dough ball, flatten it, start rolling it out, roll out the pulkas, it shouldn't be too thin or too thick, heat the tawa, place the roti onto the tawa, 
Cook the bottom side for a few seconds on medium flame. When slight air bubbles appear on top, flip the roti and cook on the other side. Lift the pulka roti with the help of a pair of tongs, flip it and place the roti directly on the flame. The side which was cooked for few seconds should be facing the flame. Once the roti is placed on the flame, it begins to puff up. Immediately take the roti onto the plate. Apply a little ghee or butter and serve it hot. Wow, look at those rotis. They're perfect and they're so light and fluffy. Now, these are wonderful recipes that you can try and serve it with any side dish of your choice.